Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part seven. In that we are going to see the innings 10.3. So here they said Amit can do a piece of work alone in five days and Dia can do it alone in 10 days and Komal in 15 days. So if all three work together, in how many days can they complete the work? So first we'll see the work done by Amit in one day. That is what is given that will be. We, alone in five days means we have actually we write that one fifth of the total work. Then work done by Dia in one day that is in 10 days means that is going to be one tenth of the total work. And the work done by Komal in one day that will be this is 15 days means in one day will be one fifth of the total, one fifteenth of the total work because it is for one day. So 15 days is going to be 1 by 15 of the total work. So if they work together, then the amount of work done in one day will be, that will be, this will be 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 plus this 1 by 15. So now you can see the denominator is different. So it will be 5 into 6. So we can take the, this the LCM of it. So this is going to be 30. So here you have to multiply by 6, here by 3, and here by 2. So since this is multiplied by 6, the numerator also by, by 6, this 3, so this also should be by 3, 2, 2. So this is going to be 6 by 30, 3 by 30, and 2 by 30. So when you add it, that is going to be 11 by 30. So this is the, uh, the work, when they work together, the amount of work done in one day is going to be 11 by 30. So the time taken to complete the work, that is actually, that is going to be the reciprocal of that one. So this is 11 by 30, so that is going to be 30 by 11. So when you divide this 30 by 11, so it should be 11 to are 22. This will be 8. So what will you write here? 2 integers, 3 by 11 days. So two men A and B can paint a house in 18 days. They work together for 8 days and then B goes away. And alone, finish this one, A alone that is will be finishes the work in 15 days. So how long will each of them take to finish the work separately? So A's rate of this work is, let us consider this that as 1 by x and B's rate of work be 1 by y. So together that will be 1 by x plus 1 by y that is given as, because they said two men, this, uh, they can complete the work in 18 days. So that will be 1 by 18. So in eight days, so they work together how many days? For eight days. So for this one, one day, that is one by 18. So for eight days, that will be 18 to one by X plus one by Y. So that will be one by 18 into eight. So that is going to be, this is going to be when you simplify it, that will be four by nine. So here we can write here, this will be 4 by 9 of the work. So after 8 days, what happens? 4 by 9 of work is done. And the remaining work is left is from, we consider as 1, the whole 1 from that one. Whatever is that, that four of that, 4 by 9 work is done. So what will you write here? 1 minus 4 by 9. So when you write that 1 minus 4 by 9, so the LCM is going to be 9. So here will be 1, so 9. Multiply by 9 means 9 minus 4 by 9. So that should be 5 by 9. So A's time to complete the remaining work will be how much? Because it is the A is going to take this one as 15 days. So what will you write here? 15 into, because we have considered A as this one as 1 by X. So 15 into 1 by X is, because this is the remaining work left. So that will be 5 by 9. So 1 by X will be 5 by 9. And this goes to the other side, that will be 1 by 15. So 15 becomes here, 1 by 15. So this will be, Five ones are five threes are so this one by x is going to be one by twenty seven. So what will be x? So when you cross multiply this one, so x should be twenty seven days. So now we will see the b's rate. What is that? So total one by x plus one by y is one by eighteen. So we have considered here one by x plus one by y is equal to one by eighteen. Out of that, what did you get here? One by x. So we got here one by x is what was that? Mm 
here. So 1 by x is 1 by 27 we got over here. So we can put here in place of 1 by x, we can put here 1 by 27. Here 1 by y is as it is and this is 1 by 18. So 1 by y will be 1 by 18. This will go that side. So that will be 1 by 27. So this 1 by y as it is. So now you can take the LCM of this one. So that is going to be 54. So here you need multiply by 3. So this also should be multiplied by 3. Here 2. Here also 2. So that will be 3 by 54 minus 2 by 54. That will be 3 minus 2 by 54. That is going to be 1 by 54. So we cross multiply this one. So we'll get the value of y as 54 days. So we can say B will take 54 days to complete the work. So they asked here, how long will each of them take to finish the work separately? So we got here for A, we got this as 27 days. And here we got this B as 54 days. You can also put this one. So A completed the work this one is 27 days. You can also put here one sentence and then we will take 54 days to complete the work. Two farmers, Ramesh and Suresh, can harvest a field in five days and seven days respectively. After Ramesh has worked for three days, he is joined by Suresh. In how many more days will they complete the harvesting? So first we can say work done by Ramesh in one day. That is what? How much is Ramesh take, taking here? In five days and seven days respectively means this is for Ramesh and this is for Suresh. So that will be one fifth of total work. So work done by Suresh in one day that is given here says seven days we have means one seventh of the total work. So now in three days after Ramesh has worked for three days he is joined by Suresh. So in uh, three days first Ramesh completes how much? This is 1 by 5. So 3 into 1 by 5, that is 3 by 5. And after 3 days, the remaining work is how much? Now this was completed. So from 1 minus 3 by 5, that is going to be 2 by 5. So combined rate of formation, this will be this 1 by 5. That is work done by Ramesh. And the this is of 1 by 7. That is work done by Suresh. That is what? 1 by 5 plus 1 by 7. So when you put this one, this uh, LCM will be 35. So here you're going to multiply by seven. This year you're going to multiply by five. So that is going to be seven by 35. Seven plus, and this will be plus seven plus five by 35. That is going to be 12 by 35. So now we will see the time needed to complete the remaining work. So what will you do here? This was after three, uh, this one, three days. The remaining work is two by five. And here we got combined rate of this is 12 by 35. So this 2 by 35 divided by 12 by 35. So what happens here? This is the numerator stays as it is. And this gets flip over. That will be 35 by 12. So 2 ones are 2 6 are. And here will be 5 ones are 5 7 are. That will be 7 by 6. So when you divide this 1 7 by 6, 6 ones are 6. And that will be 1 integer 1 by 6 days. Because they have asked here the same thing. That how many more days will they complete the harvesting? So this is the answer. A can do a piece of work in 10 days. If A and B work together, they can finish it in 6 days. Find the number of days in which B alone will finish the work. And then you have to the work left if B alone works on it for 3 days. Only. Now let us see for the A part first. So now what will you do right? Work done in by A in 1 day. So this is given in 10 days by A. So that is going to be 1 by 10th of the total work. So now here work done by B in 1 day. So this is six days, so that is going to be one by six of the total work. So to find B's work, like what will you do here? Now see the number of days in which B alone will finish the work. So this was the given for one day. So how to find B's work, what will you do? To find, because they said the number of days in which B alone will finish the work. So you have to subtract from this one by six, you have to subtract this one minus one by 10. So after subtracting here, first we have to make the denominators equal. So the LCM is 30. So 6 into 5. So this also will be 5. Here will be 3. Here also will be 3. So 5 by 30 minus 3 by 30. That is going to be 2 by 30. And when you simplify it, you get 1 by 15. So we can see here. Now B alone will take 15 days to complete the work. Because this is 1 by 15 means we take the reciprocal of that. So that will be B alone will work take 15 days to complete the work. So now what we can, here we have, they have seen that the work left if B alone works on it for three days only. So now we will see. So what is the, 
first thing b b's work alone for three days we have to see so this was 1 by 15 so for three days how much it will be 3 into 1 by 15 so that is going to be one fifth of the work so remaining work is how much again from one you're going to subtract this one by five so this is going to be four by five so we can say that we can finish the work in this one that is in 15 days this is the first part and here we can say four by five of the work will be left this is four by five is left so now here the next one a can complete one fifth of the work in five days and b can complete one fourth of the same work in five days if they work together how long will it take to complete the work now in five, in five days a completes how much that is one fifth of the work and in one day so it will be that was in five days that a completes because here it said a can complete one fifth of the work in five days so in five days it he completes a completes one fifth of the work so we have to see for one day so when you see for five days now see i'll write it separately that is equal to one by five so one day will be how much so what will you do you are going to cross multiply so this will be one into one by five so it will be one by five and this you are going to divide it by five so one by five divided by five so be careful with this one with this step so what will you do one by five will be as it is this division becomes multiplication so this becomes multiplication means this will get flip over so this will be one by five so this will be one by 25 so in one day a completes one by 25 so now we will see for the b one so what did they say b can complete one fourth of the same work in five days so now we can say in five days b completes one fourth of work so in one day b completes how much same thing we'll do one fourth divided by five so this will again get multiplied means it is going to be 1 by 5. So this is going to be 1 by 20. So combined work together is how much? So this was 1 by 25 for A and for B is 1 by 20. So now again here you are going to take the LCM. So LCM is going to be 100. So this you are going to multiply by 4. And this one you are going to multiply by 5. So that will be 4 plus 5 by 100. So that will be 9 by 100. So we can take the reciprocal of this one so time required whenever this is there so you have to take the reciprocal to complete the work that is going to be 100 by 9 so 100 when you divide it by 9 9 ones are 9 this is 10 so 9 ones are 9 so it is going to be 1 so 11 integers 1 by 9 so this will be 11 integers 1 by 9 days a can do a piece of work in three days b can do it in nine days and c can do it in four and a half days how long will they take to complete the work if they work together so we can see this is work done in by a in one day so this is going to be how much this three days means this is what well, that is one four, one third of total work so now b can work done by b in one day so this is in, they are going to do in nine days so that is going to be one by ninth of total work work done by c in one day that is for four and a half means that is going to be 4.5 so one by 4.5 of the total work so if they work together then amount of work done in one day is going to be this is 1 by 3 1 by 9 and this is 1 by 4.5 so now you can see here the lcm here will be this is 4.5 so we can take here also 4.5 means 1.5 into this also can be multiplied by this one so the lcm is going to be 4.5 so this will be multiplied by 1.5 so this also the same 9 into 0 0.5 so that will be 4.5 it's also the same and this is 4.5 so now you only add this one so divided by 4.5 so what will be this this will be 2 2 plus 1 3 3 divided by 4.5 so now see here this is the numerator this is the denominator so we will write the numerator as it is so if you want to do this without a calculator 4.5 can be written as 45 because there is one number after this one after this one is a decimal after one number so you are going to divide it by 10 so we can write this same thing as 45 by 10 so what will you do here you will write 3 as it is and the denominator this is gets flipped over that will be 10 by 45 so here will be 3 ones are 3 15s are and then will be 5 twos are and 5 threes are so that is 2 by 3 then again whenever we write the time what what do you do we take the reciprocal of it so time required to complete the work that is going to be this is 2 by 3 so that becomes a reciprocal means 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 means that is the improper one we have to make it to 
mix so that will be one integer one by two so that is be one and a half days a potter can make 80 pots of the same size in one hour how much time will four potters take to make 80 So that is pots of the size. So also find in how many, how much five potters will make 150 pots. So now here we can see here one potter that is 80 pots per hour because 80 pots of the same size in one hour. So now what you can see for four potters will be how much because they said how much will four potters make means four potters means this will be four into 80. So four into 80 that will be 320 pots per hour. So time required to make 80 pots will be how much. So this will be we can see because they said this will be 80 by 320. Because for 80 for one hour this is see a three, four, uh, 320 pots one hour. So one hour is. 320 pots so for this one for 80 pots will be how much so what will you do you have when you cross multiply we don't know this one so whenever there are two numbers that goes in the numerator one into 80 means this will be 80 and the other number which is single gets divided so 80 divided by 320 hope you got this one how i got 80 by 320 so follow this cross multiplication method so this is going to be 1 by 4 hours. So 1 by 4 means that is going to be 15 minutes. So you know 1 by 4 means 15, 1 by 2 means 30, 3 by 4 means 45 and, and so on. So that is going to be 15 minutes. So if 5 potters work together, what will you going to bring? 5 into 80. So this will be 400 pots per hour. So time required for 5 potters to make, that will be 120 pots. So what will you do? 120 divided by 4. See 1 hour there are 400 pots so for 120 pots so 400 pots in one hour so 120 pots is going to be how much so this will be when you cross multiply so 120 divided by 400 so this is what i wrote here so that will be four threes are four times are that three by ten hours so then three by ten means how are you going to consider this in minutes so now see here one hour is 60 minutes so 3 by, see 1 hour is 60 minutes. So 3 by 10 hours will be how much? So what will you do here? So you are going to cross multiply this one 3 by 10 into 60. So this will be this and this will go off. So this is going to be 80, 18 minutes. So by this one we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.